Junior from Love Life Yarn, and today we are going to make this easy textured baby blanket. You can see this easy stitch pattern, which is made of single and double crochets, gives us awesome texture. And then we put a simple puff stitch border right here along the edge to give it a nice scalloped finish. So super simple. I'm going to walk you through all the steps. And are you ready? Let's get started. Materials you'll need for this project include two skeins of Lion Brand Amandala. I used the Genie colorway for the blanket, and uh, I have this one on hand, so I'm going to use a different color for the tutorial. But you can use any colors that you like or any DK weight yarn. Also a size K 6.5 millimeter crochet hook, which is a larger hook than is recommended for this yarn, but that I like to use larger hooks for my blankets. A yarn needle and some scissors. Work a starting chain in any multiple of three. For this, I'm just doing 30, but for the blanket that I made, I did 114. So it depends on how big you want your blanket. But if you want it the same size as the blanket in the pictures, then 114. And now we're going to work two double crochet in the third chain from the hook. So yarn over and look for the third chain. One, two, three, insert your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through the last two. Now we're working two of these stitches in the same chain because this stitch is little clusters of a single and two double and so this starts us out with our turning chain being like our single crochet. And now we're going to skip two chains. So look for the next two. One, two, and in the third one, we're going to single crochet. And work two double crochet. Okay, go ahead and repeat this all the way down to the end. So we'd skip two, single, two double, skip two, single, two double, all the way to get down to the end, and I'll show you how to end the row. When you get down to the last three chains, you're just going to work a single crochet in the last chain. And that will finish out our first row. From here, it's a very easy one row repeat. You're going to chain two, which will count as our, like a single crochet right here for our little cluster. And now work two double crochet right here in this first single. Okay, that makes our first little cluster. Now skip our double crochet from the row before and look for the single, which is afterwards, and work single and two double. That's gonna be our repeating pattern is a single and two double. So again, work this down single to double, single to double, all the way down to the end. Here we are at our last cluster, and what you're going to do here is skip the two double and work a single crochet in your turning chain. And you simply repeat that last row. So one row repeat where you chain two, work two double here in this first single crochet, skip the two double, and then you continue your cluster. Well, it's like a little cluster, single, two double, single, two double, single, two double, all the way to the end, working a single crochet down here in the turning chain. 
And in the original blanket, which I have right here, in this blanket pattern, um, I worked 48 rows. So 48 rows if you want it to be the same as mine, and then we'll come back together, do the border. So just however many rows you would like it to be long. And I'll show you how to do our little puff stitch border. Okay, I've worked my rows here. If you're working the blanket pattern as written, you would work through row 48. And you can see here the rows, how they kind of alternate. And they, this one faces this direction, and this one looks this way. And when you look at it from a distance, two rows together makes a little cluster. So when you look at it from a distance, you can see these little, they're not really bobbles, but they do have a, a texture where they stand up a little bit. And we're gonna be working into the side. So don't turn here. We're going to chain three. And this is going to count as a single crochet and a chain one. And then go ahead and work into that same single crochet from the last row. Now, the reason I was pointing out the rows here, here's a row facing this way, row facing this way, this way, and the way they look together is that you're going to work two stitches into the side of each of these little clusters. So one stitch per row. That way we'll have a nice even border. So here's the, here's the row. So I'm going to put a single crochet in. And then for my next row. So the way I think of it is for each of these little groups, you're going to have two stitches. So it's one per. You can see there's like a little bit of a hole, which is fine. Work there. And then this one has a little bit of a hole. Nice and even. Every once in a while, stop though. Make sure that it's not bunching or getting all crazy right here. But I found that really working one stitch into each row worked perfectly. And it also gives us the right number of stitches for the next round of our border. So that worked out really well. Just make sure there's always at least two strands if you're going into the side here. Don't ever find an area that's just one. Like, you know, don't just work into one little strand because that makes it have a big gap and we don't want that. So we're just working evenly around and we'll work down the side so you can check your work. See, I'm happy with that because it's lying nice and still without puckering or looking too stretched. So you just want it to be nice and even. And when you get to the end, I'll show you how to turn the corner. So that's why I'm going to go all the way down. And I know you'll change colors, obviously, as you go, because the yarn itself changes colors. And that is okay do that. Look how this one's yellow. And now here we are getting to the end. And when you get to our corner, okay, this is our corner right here. We're going to work single chain one single all into the same corner stitch, whatever stitch that may be. And then going all along this way, you'll just seal and crochet into the foundation chain. Work your corner, single, chain one, single. Work again, one stitch into each row, single, crochet single, and then single across each stitch in the top. When you get all the way around, you're gonna be back to your original chain three and you're going to slip stitch right in the middle. So it'll be like slip stitching into a, if it was the single crochet chain one, we're getting to our corner space here. And now we're gonna set up for our puff stitches. So chain one, C 
see on crochet here in the corner. Chain three. Skip three single crochet. One, two, three. And single crochet in the next. We're going to repeat this all the way. Get my yarn to cooperate. One, two, three. And skip. One, two, three. Now, if you've changed your number of rows and stitches, it might not match up exactly. So just try to evenly get three um, chain, you know, the chain three spaces and skipping three all the way to the corner. When you get down here to the corner, let's see, we'll do one, two, three, and when we skip two, three. We're right here in our little chain one space that was our corner. So for each corner, single, chain, three, and single in the corner space, the corner chain one. Okay, this is your corner should look like. And then continue. So chain three, skip three, single, all the way to the next corner. In the corner, single, chain three, single, same space. Work all the way around till you get to the beginning. And then we're going to do one single, chain three, slip stitch right in this first single. And that'll be the next round setting us up for our puff stitches. Now we're ready for our last round. You see I've got my corner made here. I just slip stitch in here. We're going to be working over these chain threes into the row below and then doing our puff stitches in our single crochets. You can see that stitch right here. So to begin, chain one. Find the center stitch in your chain three and single crochet working over that chain three from before. Now we're gonna work three puff stitches right here into our single. To work a puff stitch, yarn over, and then insert and drop a loop three times. So one, make it kind of loose because it gets hard to pull through if you don't. And two, and three. You'll have seven loops on your hook. Yarn over and draw through them all. If you haven't made it loose, it will be difficult to draw through just to the best you can. And then the next one work a little bit looser. Trust me, I had this problem. So after you chain one, it closes the stitch. Work three in the same one. So one, two, three, draw through, chain one. And now one more, yarn over, one, two, three, pull through, and it gives you this little cluster right here. And now we're going to seal crochet in the row below. And we're going to repeat that. Every seal and crochet gets three puff stitches and then work into the row below. Puff stitch, row below. So go across the side and I'll show you how to work the corner. Okay, here are my puff stitches to the end. And when I get, we get to the last chain stitch before the end, and yes, I already, <laughs> I went a little far and then forgot how to take it back out to work on this. So you can see where I worked into my row below. All of a sudden, like, wait, I didn't film that yet. So, single crochet. And now you'll work your puff stitches into this chain three of your corner. So, just like we did before, yarn over, insert, one, two, three. And there's one puff stitch. And one, two, Three. You can see it's already starting to turn the corner. 
two puff stitches. I'll turn my work. One, two, three, and always remember to chain one to close up that stitch. Just pulls all the loops together. And then you'll continue just as before, working into the row below, and then puff stitching. You'll end at the last corner, just right here, and you'll work into that puff stitch right here into that chain three and slip stitch into your first single crochet and be done. I'll come back when I'm done with mine and show you the finished result. All right, and here is my finished, you see here, finished like blanket, this is my miniature one, where you work those last three puff stitches and then you slip stitch in that first single crochet and you can see the puff stitch border and this is on this color. So the original one that I did was with the Genie colorway which is a little bit different so let me bring that one back out here. Here is my Genie colorway. You can see the texture on the blanket stitch and then the puff stitch border on it. I really like the way that I ended up with just um, the dark gray and that ended up being my border, but the little puff stitches, I think really give it a nice accent there. And I um, really like this colorway. The other one is all right. The gold, like the mustard and the orange, but this one was my favorite. And that is what I had on hand to film, but this is a super easy project. I hope you give it a try and let me know if you make it. Come visit me at lovelifeyarn.com for more than 280 free patterns.